What's up, YouTube? RC Cards 88 here. Hopefully, everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today, we've got another fun video. It's another mail day. I couldn't fit all of this mail into the uh, Sam Darnold video because I thought it would just go way too long. So, that being said, I cut it into two. So, now you guys get two for the price of one. Um, this is actually a pretty fun video because um, the first package that I got is actually from a Facebook break group. So, um, as you may know, I've, I've kind of talked about this one group before uh, called Eagle Fin Breaks. Um, they partner with a couple other uh, break groups as well, and this one's um, Pigskin Pros, and I saw that they were doing a um, promotional giveaway. And I kind of jumped right in and threw my name in there. Everyone who uh, put their name in got one random team in an Origins Break, and it was a um, Origins Break, Eagle Fin Breaks versus Pigskin Pros. And all the cards went to the uh, people who were entered into the giveaway. So there's no guarantee that you would hit anything. But um, I got the Ravens and I actually got uh, a couple of cards. So we'll kind of kind of look into this really quickly. So here we go. So we got a uh, Justin Tucker. And that is numbered out of 299 from Origins. And then this was the actual hit. I got lucky. And I hit a Marquise Brown. Um, kind of lame that Origins at the time doesn't have the numbers yet for some of the players, but um, really cool card, though. Um, he's been playing really, really well. He had a crazy first opening weekend, and he's still been playing really well as that deep threat for the, the Ravens. So I'm really stoked about that. So thank you so much, uh, Pigskin Pros. Definitely go check them out. I've been trying to get into some of their breaks, but the Giants um, kind of keep selling out really quickly. So... Gotta be quick, but um, they're a lot of fun, and I've been watching some of their breaks. They do a lot of fun stuff. They kind of do um, mixers, but it's kind of like two or three, um, what do you want to call it? Two or three of the same box, um, and then they do another two or three of the same box. They kind of choose two products and do at least two to three boxes of it, so it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy what they do, and um, they've been pulling some fire as of recently, so thank you so much, Pigskin Pros. I really appreciate it. Um, this was actually a purchase off of uh, Facebook. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of investing a little bit into Jared Stidham. Um, he does seem to be the heir apparent to Tom Brady. He did throw a pick six, but I saw this up. I thought it was a pretty good price. Um, it numbered out of 99. That's four color patch right there. Really awesome. Uh, stitching is very evident. The blue, you can still see that dark navy. Um, on card, sticker, or sorry, sticker auto. Um, all on the sticker, so you know, no blemishes whatsoever. Um, really cool looking card. I love Certified for their RPAs because I think their patchwork is just far superior to many of the other products that are out there. Um, so yeah, so here's kind of hoping that uh, Jared Stidham uh, does become the next uh, Patriot quarterback or at least gets traded to a team and gets the opportunity because... Uh, Basically, all of the Patriot quarterbacks, ex-Patriot quarterbacks, have ended up um, going somewhere, and all of their stuff is fairly expensive. So, kind of hoping that um, that that continues, and that's why I'm investing in some Jared Sidham stuff. So, this box right here, or this package right here, is actually another purchase from um, one of the guys that I bought that huge lot from. Um, I've I've kind of made um, pretty good friends with him. And I, I reached out to him again and said, hey, do you have anything that you're looking to move? And he, ha he referred me to his page. I was looking on it and we were able to come to a deal. So um, I kind of go um, in no particular order, but um, nice little, I think it was 11 cards that I got roughly uh, from him. So we'll just kind of go one by one. So right here, we've got a Majestic of DK Metcalf and that's not on the card, that's on the um, the, the top loader, but Really cool looking patch, really cool looking card. I think this is numbered out of 50, 49. So 35 out of 49. Nice looking uh, patch right there. So that's cool. We'll put that there. Here we go. We got another Jared Stidham, uh, unparalleled RPA. Um, you know, he's got a really nice signature. Like it, it looks really nice. He, he does a really good job of keeping it on the sticker. Some guys are really sloppy with their signatures. But um, like I said, I'm kind of investing a little bit. This is not numbered. This is the base. Um, RPA so actually I don't know if we'll put that one up quite yet we'll, we'll leave that over here sorry if you can hear um, sirens in the background you know living in 
uh, New York City, there's always stuff going on, so um, I, I do apologize for that. Um, here we go. We got a, another unparalleled RPA. We had Terry McLaurin. He's really been killing it recently. This is the Astral, so this should be numbered. Um, there you go. It's numbered out of 150. Um, but yeah, no, he's been playing out of his mind, playing really, really well for the Redskins as a rookie. Uh, Scary Terry, so um, looking forward to big things on him. This is a little bit of an investment card as well. Um, another guy who's been really playing well, um, and, and he was willing to let this go. Well, I mean, the whole lot was negotiated. It wasn't like I paid for each of the cards individually, but um, Nicole Hardman Jr., so He's been really, really playing well for the Chiefs. I mean, everyone's been playing well for the Chiefs. They're just scoring a ton. A lot of opportunities for all the wide receivers. Everyone's stepping up, especially with Tyreek Hill out. So I thought this was a really cool one. My first absolute card. I actually have not opened any absolute yet of 2019. I'm not as big of a fan of their base cards to me. They look a little um, and cheap in my mind. A little too much going on. Um, but... I really, really do like the hits, though. The hits are, are a little more simplified. So 44 out of 99, McCall Hardman Jr., I think he's going to have a great year. Looks like he's going to be a stud for Kansas City, and anybody that Mahomes is throwing to I think is a pretty good investment. Um, here are a couple of uh, Origins autos, just come base Origins. Uh, we got a Riley Ridley, uh, my first Riley Ridley. Pretty nice. I do like Origins because, um, to some extent, um, well, this is one piece I don't like that I was talking about earlier. Um, not having the numbers kind of is, um, you know, lame in my opinion. You can easily Photoshop that. So, you know, that should be something that should be, everyone's number should be on here. Um, maybe they're not all known at the time, but, um, you know, nice that they're all are on card autos though. I really do like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. So Riley Ridley, uh, autograph, uh, we'll put that here. And then we've got a um, Tony Pollard. This is numbered out of 99, so that's 18 out of 99. He had a really big week the last week. I believe he had over 100 yards rushing. So um, he could be the next uh, guy for underneath Ezekiel, or they may end up trading him because uh, Zeke got his big deal. But um, that being said, you know, nice card, nice auto. Love the colors. Uh, cowboys are always good to have around because everybody likes to collect the Cowboys. There are so many Cowboys collectors that it's always good to have some Cowboys cards because if you ever want to make a trade or a sale, um, definitely you want to have some Cowboys around. Um, also have a Noah Font. Uh, I have quite a few of his autos, actually. So I think I have three or four of his autos. Um, anybody who's looking for Noah Fant, I definitely have some stuff for you. Uh, but yeah, this is another base Origins auto. Nice card. See, they do have his number, so I like that. That looks really nice. Same with Tony Pollard. I just think it looks a little cheap when, you know, you got double zero zero when clearly that's not his number. So, you know, I, I really do appreciate and like these cards um, quite a bit, Origins. I did not buy a box this year. Rather, I've actually bought all of the cards that I have of Origins through um, individual purchases. So, for example... All of these cards that I got here is less than one box of Origins of a hobby, so I, I think I did pretty well. Um, this is a TJ Hawkinson, uh, 2 out of 25. That's a really nasty looking patch for the Lions. Really cool. That's one, two, three, four colors. I think this is an awesome looking card. Uh, low numbered, 2 out of 25. Um, hopefully Hawkinson will start to pick it up. Tight ends always are a little bit slower in picking up the offense and having a, a quick start, but... Um, Really nice looking RPA. Um, we got another Riley Ridley. Excuse me one second. Man, the the weather in New York has changed, so it kind of, um, with that comes some allergies. A um, little bit of a sore throat and stuffy nose, so I do apologize if I sound a little stuffed up. Um, but here's a Riley Ridley. Again, just unbelievable patch at work. Like, this is just really cool. You can see that the the patch right there, part of his number right off the eight is, is what I'm guessing. It's literally that piece that's right there. Uh, really cool looking. Three colors. Riley Ridley. Um, you know, this one is, you know, a sticker auto, but really nice RPA. Um, pretty good for any um, Bears fan. This card I thought is really cool. Ryan Finley. I think he's going to get a chance to play this year, maybe. Or at least he's going to start to get some mop-up duty as the Bengals uh, continue to lose. And I just thought this patchwork was just awesome. I mean, look at that. Look at how cool that patchwork is. You know, three colors, but you get multiple different patterns in there. 
that's that's really cool looking although not numbered um you know really cool looking patch great auto you know all on the sticker um does a really nice job plus he's got a really cool name ryan <laughs> so I, I i like that um but yeah he could be the the heir apparent in uh cincinnati and then the final card is uh spectra um I was able to buy a couple of Spectra first off the line, but I ended up selling those so I could buy some stuff for the channel. Um, but uh, I was able to get one of these kind of as a, a not as a throw in, but you know, for a really good price. I got a James White Super Bowl champion. I thought this is a really cool card. It's numbered out of 99. Um, when it's in the light, it actually, you know, it has a much better shine, but um, I don't have great lighting around me right now. So. Let's see here. What's the other card that I'm going to put up there for the background? Um, you know, the, the Finley is really cool looking, so we'll put him up there because we kind of got a quarterback thing going on over on that side. Uh, we'll put down this, and these are all really cool, but um, we need another card that's vertical. So we're going to go with the Origins. So that's what we got. Um, really fun mail day here. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Just quickly going back through it. Nicole Hardman Jr. from Absolute, uh, Terry McLaurin Astral, that's out of 150, um, Jared Stidham, so we can even put you up here too, buddy, because uh, we've got another Jared up there, hopefully that doesn't knock them all down, of Unparalleled, we got a DK Metcalf Majestic, that's out of 49, we've got a Riley Ridley RPA from Origins, a Tony Pollard out of 99, a Noah Font uh, on card, Riley Ridley on card, and a James White uh, Spectra Super Bowl champion out of 99. So a lot of cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely all of this stuff is up for sale and trade. Looking to um, make deals with you guys. It's always fun chatting with you. So if you guys see anything that you like, hit me up on Instagram, rccards88, or shoot me an email at rccards88 at gmail.com. But I definitely respond faster on the Instagram. So um yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you guys are, are out there being able to build out your PC. Let me know too in the comments below. How do you guys acquire your cards? Like what are, what are the ways that you do it? Do you only open up hobby? Do you only open up retail? Is it a combination of the both? Do you guys buy off of eBay, Facebook, Instagram? Let me know what you guys do. Let me know where you guys get your cards um, because there's not a lot of uh, hobby shops around me. So Sometimes I kind of just go out there and look for cards that I can buy either for my PC or invest uh, so I can kind of sell them and flip them and then, you know, make a couple of dollars so I can buy something else either for the PC or for the channel. So hope you guys all enjoy. And again, if you guys are new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. Click that bell notification. Be notified when um, new videos are released because there's a lot of fun stuff that's up and coming. And it's always a lot of fun building out this channel. So until next time, guys, keep ripping those packs.